Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and apparently this guy was able to dig this entire tunnel system in like 10-15 minutes. Although I guess we did give him a skip sandwich, DX, which increases movement speed for a while, so maybe with that increased movement speed he was able to do this all. However, unfortunately with that increased movement speed he was unable to find buried gold, and instead he found five moles that just happened to be hanging around, and he just happened to run into all five as well, and now we have to take care of them. Basically, five of the same enemy, uh, mini-boss fights, kind of, and yeah, we're, it'll be time-consuming, really. I'm not a huge fan of this area, it's kind of really mazy, but meh. Also, we got a chick from that present, so now we can replace Paula. Oh wait, no, not that kind of chick, never mind. Okay, so we are taking on the third strongest mole at the moment, the Guardian Digger. So, I'm... Freeze works very well on them, so you're going to want to have Paula use some, ki some kind of freeze, preferably freeze beta. That takes out like half of his HP. Jeff, kind of really not helpful in the slightest. He's not going to do anything at all, ever. And he has... they have shields up, so just have your guys use PSI against them. Jeff can just kind of defend. Um, power shield gives half of your damage back. Luckily, Jeff did nothing for damage. I also like how in the background there is the number three. They show which type of mole it is, like, determined by power, I guess. And we got an IQ capsule. Now the question is, do I give that to Jeff or Paula? I'm pretty sure IQ affects Paula's PSI power or something like that, but I'm going to give it to Jeff just so we can fix more things. Although I really don't rely on his fixing that much, just like I don't rely on his um, other stuff that much. Also, a while back we saw a pink snake called the Thirsty Quail Snake. Uh, he can poison your party members and he can cause my voice to crack as soon as I talk to him or something like that. But otherwise, he's meh. Now, over here we have the noose man who can bind one of your party members so they can't move for a turn, but otherwise meh. And here we have the mad duck from earlier. They are extremely easy, and really they're just here to mess your PSI up. But luckily I don't really use PSI that much in random battles, depending on how big the group is. And also if you hear that little chirping, that is that chick that I got from that one battle. So I hope it's not annoying at all, because we're going to be hearing it a lot as we go through this place. Although it'll eventually mature into a chicken, it'll go like boom, and I'm pretty sure that's the last sound it'll make. So we won't have to worry about it after that. Or maybe I'll just eventually drop it and just give it up. Okay, and here we have a gigantic spider, or ant, gigantic ant actually, which kind of interesting. This is the a recolor of the very first guardian uh, and I'm pretty sure that this is the only one in the game that gets a recolor. But he can poison. But poison you're going to be worrying about quite a bit in here between the thirsty quail snakes and this, these guys. The enemies in here are kind of tough, not the toughest, but it's it can get kind of difficult depending on how big the group is. Especially if you get like a thirsty quail snake and a gigantic ant, or really a gigantic ant paired with anything. Gigantic ants are pretty powerful. So, you just want to be really careful with them. And we get a big bottle rocket that I'll probably never use, honestly. And there's that chick right there. Yep, Ness has all of the chicks, all one of them. So let's go ahead and give him the big bottle rocket. Maybe I'll use it, although I never really end up buying any more. Which you really can do that in Foresight, actually. Foresight and later. You see an arms dealer, you can... Uh, buy bo big bottle rockets from him, and then and then Jeff becomes really helpful in battle. I almost said Ness. Although granted, they both have four letter names with an E as the second letter, and also the last two letters are the same. And by that I mean S S F F. Yep. So you can you can get a exit mouse right there, which I suggest you do because um, eventually I'm going to need to leave this place to like heal or whatever. So it's very helpful if you grab an exit mouse to easily do that. Especially with all the poisoning you're going to get and how much PP you're going to be using to heal that. And this is not looking good in the slightest. They're going to ambush me as soon as I get off that ladder. 
Oh, even worse. We do not want two gigantic ants. Yeah, again, they are not really liking me right now. Come on, please, nothing? A single gigantic ant, we can do that. Pretty sure that two gigantic ants wouldn't fight you at once, though. But you don't want to fight them back to back, or whatever. Or I just didn't want to mess with too many gigantic ants. And also, Paula's paralyzed, and I can't fix that. However, she can still do PSI, so that's okay. I think that might have been the gigantic ant that did that to her. Okay, so again, uh, Freeze Beta takes out half of their health, and Ness's Gaming Beta, or whatever beta, can take out the rest of it, and you can take them out in one turn. Soon enough, uh, Paula should be getting really close to learning Freeze Gamma, which is the third level Freeze spell, which can take out all of their health in a single hit. Yeah, nothing is going to heal that. Uh, yeah, nothing. So she's going to not really be able to do anything except for uh, PSI, which is unfortunate. And I'm pretty sure that that's the reason that I left this place so I could heal that or whatever. Although, hey, we have a chicken, and we have another chick. Ness has all of the chicks. Okay, so we're gonna give that to somebody else. They both have full inventory space, of course. Time to manage inventory. Um, Sprig of Parsley is a thing that when you use certain items, like food items, they will automatically put the Sprig of Parsley on that, and it could increase the effects of the healing item if it uh, tastes good, basically. But it, it's kind of annoying because they automatically do it, but meh, whatever. There is a glitch. Uh, later on, you'll run into a couple items called the Rock Candies, which when you use those, those will increase your stats by quite a bit when you level up next. But if you have the rock candy and a whole bunch of sugar packets in your inventory, sugar packet is like a sprig of parsley, it's one of those things. Also, we're just gonna get rid of that chick. Ness has Paula, that's all he needs. But if you use the rock candy while you have a whole bunch of sugar packets in your thing, it will use the rock candy and the sugar packet but then you'll get another rock candy in place of that sugar packet. So basically you have unlimited rock candies and you can get huge stat gains per level. Which is very nice if you're trying to power grind. And then you won't have to be as high of a level as you probably would normally need to be in order to beat the game or something like that. And we get a teddy bear and you'll just have higher stats altogether. That teddy bear will, pro will protect us against damage and all status effects as well. Although it was kind of late for Paula, it looks like she's just kind of sliding on the floor because she is moving slower, that's how they show that you are in fact paralyzed. Or stunned, I guess, I don't know. Okay, so we're just going to try to make it through here as much as possible. That's a super bomb, which is a thing that Jeff can use, much like the big bottle rocket, but it will hit a row of enemies. Either that or the enemy that you aim for and the guys next to him, like directly next to him. Unfortunately, healing beta is not enough to heal the stunning, but luckily we need we only need to use PSI against these moles, uh, the guardian diggers. Also, in case you haven't noticed, they are all apparently the third strongest. It is... what am I doing? Oh yeah, I learned freeze gamma. At least I'm pretty sure that's gamma. Which should kill him in one hit. 344, not quite. For whatever reason, I remember that doing around 500 the first time I used it last time. Okay, so let's just go ahead and freeze alpha. There we go. Much better. Maybe it's just because, I don't know, my stats are different than the last time or something. I really don't know. But there we go. We have defeated the third one. So that is the third, third strongest mole. Which is kind of humorous because most people brag about being the strongest or whatever. Meanwhile, these guys are bragging to be the third strongest, and I'm assuming that they know that there are five of them. I don't know. Although it technically is true, because they're the same enemy. So really, they're all the fifth, fourth, third, first, and second strongest. I can't count backwards. Yeah. Whatever. You get what I mean. They're basically all the same guy, so they're all the strongest. Uh, whatever number it is. Except for the 6th strongest, because there are only 5 of them. 
Okay, so I think I've finally had it with the paralysis, and I'm starting to get beat up quite a bit by all these enemies. So I'm going to get the exit mouse, use him, uh, go back to the entrance, and then I think I'll just meet you back at the area with the mice, maybe. And we will continue on from there. But we've already gotten three of them out of the way, which is a good sign. So this guy hopefully will be able to heal us for a charge of money, of course. Um, yeah, that soft and heals diamondized, I think. Restore feeling is what we're looking for. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, restore feeling. That will cure Paula's uh, paralysis. There we go. And Jeff, we've been out in the sun for like two seconds. <clears throat> As my voice goes, we've been out in the sun for like two seconds and you have a sunburn. My god, he really doesn't go outside much, does he? Well, luckily, when we stay on the road, we aren't we don't get sunburned for whatever reason. So, yeah, although we still do get damage from the sunburns we already had, such as Jeff's. So, that's a thing. Now, I'm trying to look for some sort of place where I can heal my HP and PP, and then I remembered, oh right, there's this hut of this random worker guy, and I can use his house, because he's nice or whatever. And we can heal up, and it's right next to the dungeon as well, so why didn't I think of it before? But go ahead, stay free for the night. Well, luckily it is free, because I mean, look at what we have to sleep on. A springy, dirty mattress and an even dirtier couch. At least there isn't a spring sticking out of it like the bed. And now we're just talking to Dad, and maybe Mom as well. Unless I want to be a daredevil again. Do I want to be a daredevil? Yes, I am being a daredevil! Oh boy. Let's do this. Okay, let's head down into the hole again to fight the last two moles, and hopefully the guy will be able to find Braid Gold. By the way, he wouldn't have um, dug this tunnel unless you gave him a food item, so this is why you wanted to give that guy a food item, so that he could uh, dig into this area, and uh, you could do this quest, and then you could get the thing, and then you could... Stuff. It all makes sense. Remember what I said about this game having cryptic, um, triggers? This is- that was one of those things, how you give this random NPC a food item, and luckily we didn't get back attacked. That was almost close. Oh, she still has a bomb. That is lucky. Also, I should probably be using the picnic lunches, so that Yogi Bear doesn't attack me as I make that joke for the third time. But I'm already being attacked by snakes and ants, I don't need to be attacked by a gigantic bear, and back attacked. Awesome. But they also heal for quite a bit, so it takes the strain off of the PP a little bit. Which is nice, considering how much is going into freezes and uh, healings from the two of them, so yeah. Now I should be close- there we go, that's where the exit mice are, and the other two guys, the guardian moles, should- why did I do that? Oh boy. Well, I'm going to pay for it, so... But the last two guardian diggers should be above and below where the exit mice are. Also, that was lucky that that didn't end up in a back attack. Whatever. So, we're going for the lower one right now, although it really doesn't matter because we'll be fighting the two of them anyways. So let's go ahead and give that calorie stick to her because... I don't know. Why not? It heals. And oh my god, so many mad ducks. They are the angriest of ducks. Angry Birds is competition. Other jokes involving anger and madness. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, even more mad ducks. Launch them at the pigs or whatever. Technically, they are birds. So, there you go. Also, fresh egg that would eventually hitch... Hitch, yeah. Hatch into a chick. But Ness has Paula, so again, he doesn't need any more chicks. He's not a player, but he does kill guardian diggers for a living. Well, at least for this part, I mean, really, we are going on to 15 minutes here and we're still fighting these guys. But a gaming alpha, maybe even gaming beta, and a freeze should be enough. Yeah, that's good enough. I think they have around 400 HP, so that takes them out just barely, so it's fine. And each of them also has a couple of items with them, like here's a luck capsule, platinum band, that is a very good defensive item that we are going to immediately give to Bahala because she still lacks 
HP and, well, she doesn't really lack defense considering all the stuff that I'm giving her, but she still lacks HP and she needs all that stuff. Honestly, I don't see how luck very much makes an effect other than maybe, like, giving smash attacks or something like that. So really, I just give all the stuff that doesn't really matter, like guts. Although I felt like guts affected your critical hit rate, but I don't know. But I give, like, guts and luck capsules to Ness because... I mean, they really don't make that much of an effect, I feel, and might as well give to somebody. And Ness is just your main man, he's your powerhouse. He's your main main character, so... There you go. But IQ capsules will go to either Paula or Jeff. Just kind of depending. Anything raising vitality will go to Paula because she really needs it. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I can't think of any others. Oh well. And then right up here should be our very last guardian digger. It should also be noticed all the bones that are around them when they... Um, around where they are. I mean, it looks like they've killed some people before, even though the guy just uh, dug out this hole. Maybe some of his working crew have already gone through, and that would also explain the blood on their claws and mouth. Maybe they did kill that guy's, like, digging crew right before we got here. That would explain all the bones, and they just, like, ate them to the bone, I guess. N the bones and the blood, so... That's actually kind of gruesome, now that I think about it. Oh, well, we killed all five of them, we did not become skeletons, and... W our blood is not on their claws or anything like that. And what's our last item here? A guts capsule that will go to Ness, like I just said. But that is pretty much it for this dungeon. We have cleared out all the moles, so now the guy should be able to find buried gold or something. Hopefully. I hope I didn't do this for nothing, and we kind of need that buried gold in order to save the Runaway Five again. Because they have gotten into even bigger money troubles. So I'm just going to take the exit mouse because I've had it with the enemies in this area. They are honestly kind of really annoying. So we're just going to get out of here. And here we are. We're back to sweating a lot and taking our picture while we're sweating. I, I don't feel like Paula would really be a fan of this, having her picture taken while she's sweating. Or anybody for that matter, really. Oh well, this guy wants a picture of some sweaty kids, so... He took it. Whatever. We even posed for it, so apparently Ness is okay with it. He seems like a very photogenic guy. I mean... Meh. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to the guy, tell him that all the monsters are gone. What do you mean, monster? There were monsters in there. Oh, well, okay. Well, we're going to sleep, and we will get a reward next time. See you all then. Goodbye. Yay, Jeff. I'll never use that. Thank you so much.